implement a small network addressing table. RTA router with two gigabit interfaces, switch one, switch two, PC one, and PC two. Okay, read the instructions and build your network here. So the scenario is empty and you need to add here the devices and connect them. Create the network topology. Obtain the required devices. Network devices. Okay, click here on network devices. Click the router icon, router icon, okay, here, router icon. Uh, 1941 router, click and drag the icon. Okay, this is 1941, okay, click and click. Click the switch entry. Okay, click the switch 2960. Click and drag the icon for 2960 switch. Okay, this is uh, 2960 switch. Click here. Uh, click here. Repeat the step above. So there are two 2960 switches. Okay, again, 2960 and click here. End devices, okay, end devices, this. Locate PC icon and drag two PCs. Okay, PC, one PC and click here and click here, another PC. Name the devices. The devices have the full names that you will need to change. You will name the devices as shown in the addressing table. This is the text label that appears below each device. Okay, your display names must match the information in the addressing table exactly. Okay, go to the receipt table. The router should be RTA. Okay, sensitive RTA. Switch uh, SW1. Okay. SW1. SW2. Okay, okay sensitive. PC-1, PC-1, and PC-2, so this is very good. Connect the devices. Click the orange lighting bolt connections icon in the bottom toolbar. Okay, this icon, connections, click here. Locate copper straight through cable icon. Okay. This copper straight through. Click. Okay. Connect the devices as specified in the table below. Okay. RTA router gigabit 00, SW1 gigabit 01. Okay, click the, the cable, RTA router gigabit 00, SW1 gigabit 01. RTA router gigabit 01, SW2 gigabit 01. Okay, click the cable, RTA router gigabit 01, SW2 gigabit 01. SW1 fast Ethernet 1, PC1 fast Ethernet. Click the cable, 
SW1 fast Ethernet 1, PC1 fast Ethernet. And finally, SW2 fast Ethernet 1 and PC2 fast Ethernet. Configure your devices. Record the PC addressing and gateway addresses in the addressing table. You can use any available addresses in the network for PC-1 and PC-2. OK. Um, you need to set the IP address and the default gateway for PC-1 and PC-2 in addressing table. OK, but you can do the following for better understanding. OK, look at this. For example, RTA gigabit 000. RTA gigabit 00. OK, IP address is 10, 10, 10, 1. Submit mass 24. OK, for example, uh, the network is 10, 10, 10, 0. Uh, prefix 24, okay, the subnet mask 24 belongs to 255, 255, 255, 0. Big, but uh, gigabit 00 is the number one, okay, gigabit 00 is that one, okay. Okay, gigabit, uh, gigabit 00 is that one. Uh, SW1 on VLAN 1, 10, 10, 10, 2. So is the number 2. Okay, this should be that 2. Okay, so gigabit 00 on RTA is. 10, 10, 10, that one. SW1 is uh, 10, 10, 10, that two. Okay, and PC-1, you need to set the IP address and can be 10, that 10. And can be uh, 10, 10, 10, that 10, uh, subnet mask or prefix 24. Also, on gigabit 01, the IP address is 10, 10, 20, that one. So the network is 10, 10, 20, that zero, prefix 24. OK, and gigabit, gigabit 01, and gigabit 01 on RTA is uh, that one, that one, OK, 10, 10, 20, that one. 10, 10, 20, that one. SW2, 10, 10, 20, that two. Okay. 10, 10, 20, that two. Very good. And PC2 can be a uh, number 10. That 10. 10, 10, 20, that 10. Prefix 24. That belongs to 255, 255, 255, 0. Okay, and go for your PC1, go to IP configuration 10, 10, 10, 10. 10, 10, 10, 10. Subnet so mask 24, 255, 255, 255, 0. Default gateway. What is the default gateway for PC1? The default gateway is this. Gigabit 00 IP address that is one. Okay, so use 10, 10, 10, that one. Close this and configure PC2. IP configuration and IP address 10, 10, 20, that 10. 10, 10, 20, that 10. Subnet mask 24. 255, 255, 255, 0. And the default gateway, what is the default gateway for, for PC-2? 
is one. 10, 10, 20, that's one. Ten, ten, twenty, that one. Very good. Configure the router. Configure basic settings. Host name is shown in the addressing table. Okay, access RTA and press enter. Okay. Would you like to enter initial configuration dialog? Uh, no, enter, press enter again, and enable command to access privilege exit mode, enable, enter. Now you are on privilege exit mode, go to global configuration mode with configure terminal, enter, and set the host name, host name, RTA, K sensitive, RTA, enter. Configure Cisco M555 as encrypted password. Okay, for privilege exec password. Okay, enable secret secret keyword to to encrypt and case sensitive Cisco M555. Okay. C uh, uppercase capital and Cisco and Pa five five. Enter. Configure Cisco line Pa five five as the password on the lines. Okay, the first line is line console line console, and there is only one is zero line console zero password. Okay, sensitive Cisco line pa five five okay enter and enable that password with login command enter and also configure the bty lines line bty 0 to 15 use the same password and login to enable okay All lines should accept connections. Okay, so that's why you are using the login command on, on the lines. Configure the appropriate message of the day banner. Okay, you are on line configuration mode exit to go global configuration mode and set the banner. Banner message of the day. Uh, on Authorized access is prohibited. Okay. Enter. Configure interface settings. The addressing, description, and save your configuration. Okay. But go to addressing table and configure gigabit 00 and gigabit 01. Interface gigabit zero zero. Okay, you are on interface configuration mode and set the IP address ten 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 one submit mask twenty four. And don't forget the description. Okay, is the connection connection to uh, gigabit zero zero is the connection to SW one. SW1, okay, and enable the interface. No, shut down, enter. Now you can see the green indicator. And enter and configure gigabit 01, interface gigabit 01. The IP address 10, 10, uh, 20, that one, subnet mask 24. The description is the connection to SW2 and enable the interface with no shutdown command. Save your configuration. You need to do this on privilege access mode, so go to privilege access mode with end command and you are on privilege access mode. Uh, 
copy running config to startup dash config config okay enter enter again very good now configure switch sw1 and switch sw2 configure the default management interface so that it will accept connections over the network from local and remote hosts okay this means configure ip address and the default gateway okay use the addressing table okay go to sw1 and configure this on interface vlan1 the management interface by default go to sw1 enter you are user exit mode use enable command to go privilege exit mode okay and configure uh, interface vlan1 but you need to go global configuration mode configure terminal access interface vlan1 interface vlan1 set the ip address and subnet mask ip address uh, sub, uh, 10 10 10 2 that 2 and submit mask enter uh, don't forget the description description is only a label you can use any descriptions connection to rta and not shut down command to enable the interface enter okay and exit and once you are on global configuration mode configure the default gateway so the default gateway for sw1 for sw1 the default gateway is gigabit 00 ip address on rta so is the number one 10 10 10 1 okay ip default dash gateway 10 10 10 dot 1 enter okay and also configure the encrypted password using the value in step 1a above okay uh, all these configure lines to accept connections using the password from step 1a above okay all these Configure the switches so that they can send data to host on remote networks. Okay, this means configure the default gateway. It's already configured and save. Okay, so configure all this again with on switch. Okay, set the host name like addressing table. Host name SW1 enter. Okay, now the hostname is SW1. The encrypted password enable secret Cisco MPA55K sensitive, uh, capital C. Enter the, the lines with Cisco line pa 55 passwords, line console zero password. Cisco line pa five five enter online online should accept connections so use logging okay and go to okay and configure the another lines line bty 0 to 15 for bty lines the same password Logging exit configure the banner banner message of the day when authorized access is prohibited when authorized access is prohibited you can use any banner enter 
and save your configuration and um, privilege exec mode copy running to a startup enter enter very good and don't forget to configure sw2 go to sw2 okay enter enable configure terminal go to addressing table sw2 interface vlan1 interface vlan1 ip address 10 10 22 and description connection to rta any description no shutdown to enable the interface very very good uh, exit um, global configuration mode set the default gateway ip default dash gateway the default gateway for sw2 is this gigabit uh, Gigabit 01 on RTA is 101010.1. Click on SW2 101010.1. Okay, and set the hostname, hostname SW2. Enter. Okay, enable secret, enable secret Cisco. M555 the lines line console zero password Cisco line five five okay this is uh case sensitive capital C and uh, enter logging configure BTY lines line BTY zero to fifteen the same password, login, exit, the banner, banner message of the day. Now to write set access is prohibited. Enter. And finally, save your configurations. And on um, privilege exit mode, copy running config to a startup config, enter, enter. Okay, very nice. Configure host. Okay, in my case, host already configured. And configure the addressing. If your configuration are complete, you should be able to ping all devices. Okay, PC1. Okay, ping space. Okay, from PC1, ping SW1. SW1 IP address 10 10 10 2. 10 10 10 2. Success. Ping RTA. Uh, ping RTA gigabit zero zero RTA gigabit zero zero ten 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 one PC one ten 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 one success okay RTA gigabit zero one ten ten twenty one okay PC one ten ten twenty one success Okay, now ping SW2 is 10, 10, 22. Okay, 10, 10, 22. Success, repeat. Okay, all success. And finally, ping PC2. What is the IP address of PC2? Is 10, 10, 2010 10 10 okay success completion 100% thank you very much